What can I do with this one? Many owners of the one piston uh, mechanical disc brakes think that it's impossible to perfectly set or adjust uh, the caliper, the, the, the pads against the router. But these also have some adjustment and I'm going to show you how it differs from a normal two piston brakes and what I do in order to get really good braking. Let's do this. I just love such videos. This is the disc brake router and here you can see the piston. This is the only piston because on the other side there is of course the, the braking pad but there is no moving piston so when I squeeze the lever, braking lever now, when I <laughs> pull it you can see right there this piston is pushing against the router and against the other braking pad but here there is no piston. That's why this type of uh, brake can get noisy because only one piston is actually moving but we can do something about it to get it really silent and braking pretty well. That's how it looks like from the side. I'm pulling the lever and this other lever which is pulled by the uh, by the cable. This is why it's mechanical not hydraulic system. This will push the one and only piston towards the braking router. But I thought it would be better to put on the gloves and disassemble the brake in order to show you that better. These are our two friends, actually one friend. This is the moving, the only moving piston and this is the other uh, braking pad. And when we braking, I'm pulling this cable now. You see the one on the right side goes to the one on the left side but the, this one here is non-moving and that's the one which likes to rub against the router and I will show you how to fix it. Before we assemble the caliper this is how it will be in a second but here on the other side I want to show you this little nut and that's the answer to our problems. This is the adjustment for the non-moving, let's call it piston, just braking pad. You see, it goes closer to the rotor and then the gap gets larger. So we need to use this one when we assemble new braking pads or new brakes, but also we need to readjust it as the rotor and the pads are wearing off because this is not the self-adjusting system. That's the key point. First, you're not gonna see it probably, but uh, I want to have the same exact distance between this um, braking pad and the rotor and this braking pad and the rotor. And the nut I just showed you is made for that. So I'm setting same distance. Probably you can see it moving. If you can't see it on your bike, you can use the flashlight. You can also use just uh, white paper in order to see. Okay, we have uh, less distance here, less gap and larger gap there. If in the step one uh, you set the same distance, but then when you brake, it doesn't really hold the, the router, uh, you might want to readjust the, the cable or to push the, the one that's not moving a little bit towards the router. Now, you see it's braking. Now I'm going to release these two bolts so that the caliper will be loose and I can reset it. Loose, loose. Now easy thing, I'm just going to spin the wheel and brake stop the wheel so that uh, my braking pads will actually reset the caliper. Now I'm going to tighten these two bolts. Usually I do it just little by little, one, two, three, four. First thing, this lever should start braking earlier than, than this, so we know for sure that we're going to tighten the cable.
good. Okay, so first we have the initial positioning of the caliper. Number two, we have the right tension of the cable so that the lever will be firm. So now we are actually looking at those two braking pads. I can see the distance, probably you can see it here as well. Here there is no distance, that's why it is rubbing. And so I'm gonna loosen this uh, nut, so I'm going counterclockwise. Just take a look at these pads, see how they work. And now we're gonna do the last thing. Basically it's all fine, uh, but just at the end, because we have just one moving piston, it will actually bend uh, the rotor against the other one uh, during braking. So I wanna have this bending as minimum as possible. This is why I'm trying to set as little gap as possible between the right non-moving uh, braking pad and the rotor so that the rotor will not be um, bending too much towards it, right? So probably you can see I already have less distance on, on this side than on this side and I just do it until I get rubbing. Then I back off a little bit and I'm good. See, that's it. So I'm getting it closer now. Too close. Perfecto.